age settings come from the storyteller. The age settings come from the storyteller. If I have to answer this question again, I may shit my wizardy robes. God, I know that feeling. That's horribly relatable, isn't it? Welcome to Wizard Town here in the Unseen University, population three. Uh, although that probably won't last very long, given the uh, relationships. In fact, no, it won't last very long, because of course, Gortisha Wildfire Montomblory herself is Perganan. If I hover over that, oh no, it is spoiled who the father is. But you know what? That's okay. The father is Rambunculus. We are not going to look at the baby genes. This is a pregnancy loot box simulator. I think we all learned a very valuable lesson yesterday about not abusing your magic powers. Sweet baby boy Bert is certainly paying the price after he tried to tame a djinn. He's a powerful wizard, but he's not that powerful. Let's be a bit more careful at least until we get the colony set up. There was an awesome idea in the comments from last episode, and I think we've got to do it for the eventual wizard city. Somebody said build a separate wizard tower, wizard castle, wizard building, whatever it happens to be, for each one of the spell casting trees. Although, now I'm looking at that, that's an awful lot of wizard towers we'd have to build. And to be fair, we're going to be building buildings for kind of related stuff anyway, right? When you consider the druid could have the hydroponics, the animal, stables, whatever else. The artificer will have the crafting rooms. The, the bard? <laughs> the, the bard? The magic bard. We'll build them a concert hall or something like that. It's all stuff that we're probably going to need at some stage anyway. I think we should shore up the base we've currently got because there have been far too many close calls with Blazing Inferno. It's probably because all three wizards shoot fireballs. With one builder, obviously, it's going to take quite some time, but we're okay. We're a patient wizard commune, even though they're aging 10 times faster. Speaking of which, how old is everybody? Bert started at the age of 21. He's already... 26 years of age. So I think the plan then probably should be replacing all of this fence with something a bit more solid. I mean, shit, we could throw an enormous wall around it. That doesn't feel quite right. We need like a high fence. Oh, Rambunculus is back to being Grand Mage. That's another point he scored against Bert. A friendly rivalry. Bert likes him quite a lot. He doesn't really like Bert. I think for very understandable reasons, all things considered. That note, somebody said move the base out of the wasteland because it's too visible. I think this is the perfect place to hide a wizard academy. In the middle of an enormous bombed out waste. Nobody's going to come here. I mean, except for the fact they are, but that's, that's, how, that's how the game works. It wouldn't be very fun if we had no raiders and no visitors turn up, eh? Gotta keep an eye out on this animal tab in case we get any more dragons turn up. There is a devil strand sheep that could be good to get. Also, we had some rare thrombos turn up with the rare thrombo event. I'm going to be honest, one Galatross is already going to be hard enough to feed. Much like a Welshman, that sheep does take my attention, though. Oh, Bert's down. Bert, you lazy boy. What's wrong with you? Uh, horribly set on fire by a genie, you say? Yeah, I remember it. Don't you worry. Oh, yes, I remember. For God's sake, he's injured. For, can you not wait? I do remember that point where the base was almost entirely destroyed because of Bert's hubris. Bobini's running away. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. This is, this is temporary. He'll get that new wall up in no time. Ah, uh, what are you doing? You're feeding Bert. He's not going to get that wall up in any time at all. This is going to take days. I mean, everything takes any time at all, but the best part is he's a chronomancer. So nothing takes any time sometimes for him or something like that. On the subject of the chronomancer thing, people are pointing out that this is the power that you can de-age yourself. I was specifically told it was the highest ability on the bar and it takes five years off. So I think they were talking about this power thinking you could self-target. And to be fair, maybe you still can. I'm not going to blame anyone in the comment section for not understanding these powers. Oh, and somebody also said that they're hedonistic wizards that are that, that exist just to do wizardy stuff and they don't care. Apparently are a thing in Discworld. I've never read Discworld. I only chose that suggestion because it was the highest from, from the other comment. But I will take a look. And then we'll see how much I can steal for the series. <laughs> hey, uh, you got any games on there? A dare wanders in. Oh, is how I assume that's pronounced. Hold on, sorry. I've trapped Rambunculus in here. There you go, fella. We could tame that. Extremely dangerous, but highly sought after for their robust and majestic horns. Here's the thing. We could tame it and just slaughter it. Same with Thrombo. If, if they've got some sort of magical horns, I absolutely think the wizards wouldn't be above. I mean, Bert's a druid, sure. It doesn't mean Rambunculus might not want some dare horns for experimentation. Everybody knows that when you grind up and snort dare horn, it gives you extra fertility. We all know that. Maybe I'm just saying we should hunt them to extinction so that my PP will work. <laughs> ah, we're monsters, aren't we? Oh, very interesting. I blew up one of the... Please don't move so loud. I blew up one of these siege towers because they were right in the way of one of our farms. And it drops components. Oh, shit. And there's loads of those. You've seen a group of gliders crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something you... <laughs> they expect... How did he sound? Oh, hang on. They, they, no, they expect one of us in the wreckage, brother. You remember, you remember that? What a fucking great film. What am I talking about? Oh, hello. That's a lot of stuff. Raspberries. What a gift. Ah, you merely adopted the darkness. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> <sighs> ah. 
I've lost control of my life. Been a day's worth of progress since I planned out the walls and nothing has happened. Rambunculus. Stupid slow old man wizard. He's not, he's not that old. How old is he? 34, stupid slow old man wizard. Oh, and now my Galatross has allergies. Is there no god in this world? So we're, working up, we're working on the cleaning stuff, okay? We're getting that sorted. Sleeping spot for the Galatross. We call it medical. There you go. Sit down, get tended. Which wizard can summon helper friends? Like golems or whatever. What am I looking for? It's an artificer. Rock golem, steel golem. And that's it. Okay, well, that's fine. That would help out immensely if you could. Oh, fantastic suggestion I saw as well. Use the Chronomancer and grow Devil Strand. Devil Strand's a massive pain in the ass, right? Because it takes forever and never seems to grow properly. Always gets blighted or burned down or something terrible happens. Devil Strand can make us some lovely... Uh, slightly less flammable wizard robes. We've got three people launching fireballs like he's going out of fashion to the point that they are getting uh, knocked out for weeks. Weeks on end. I mean, it was the gin's fault. I won't blame him. Oh my god, I've, so many of these are permanent. I didn't even take into account. It's also getting very cold, so we need to crack on with that research bloody fast. This is why. This, <laughs> this is why he's not getting anything done, so I keep giving him a hundred different jobs. As soon as we get a little bit of research, we can get arcane temperature. Again, research works differently. There are orbs. What the hell? Oh, they're lamps. I see. My orb. You stay away. Building fence. There we go. Oh, it probably takes ages. Oh, no, it's not even that bad. 23 work left isn't terrible. It'll take him a couple of days, maybe. Who is even there? Hello. <gasps> it's the bog leg. Oh, filthy, disgusting creatures. Absolutely gross. What do you What do you sell? Do you sell? Do, do any of you sell? Hang on. Is it you on the... Oh, there you are. Hello. Happy. We've got them mech soldiers joining them as well. Whoa, those are cool. That's just a hint of what we're going to be up against with the other factions, too. Hello there. Um, you have a treatise on jump packs. You've got a, a delicious, tasty fruit that can turn your skin olive. I don't think I need that, thank you. Sell a barrier spell, which is a single-use... You know how scrolls work. You're wizards. Single version of that, you can only use it once, but anybody can use it. Yeah, I think we're good. I think I'll just take the medicine and we'll call it there. Thank you, bog legs. A wall! Just as Bert has healed up as well. Amazing. A group of employees from Mechacorp have arrived. Hello. It's just two people with rifles for the time being, so nothing to panic about quite yet. Don't be real big dick energy. Just like getting, just just like send the dragon down there to deal with them. Dragons are sentient, they're sapient, they're intelligent beings, okay? They can deal with this, no problem. Light that person up. Piss off. Get out of here. This is this dragon's new home. Okay, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't super impressive there, dragon. Melee attack, go. Go, eat them. Oh, wait, do we want them? Hold on, wait a second. Do we want them? An occultist, but cut off from magic again. Might be a good floor sweeper if you can take them alive. Uh, okay, well, you tried. <laughs> you tried. Thank you, little dragon. What is that? Beehive. Oh, that gives us uh, uh, those Oswin bees, right? That we can just put in apiaries and then they sit and make honey passively. Might actually have to do that. Try and knock him down instead of, uh, instead of killing him. Oh, this dragon. Why did I send a dragon on them if I want to try and take them alive? That was a terrible idea, wasn't it? These wars aren't going to build themselves, though, okay? I can't be having the wizards coming down here to fight a bunch of small fry. How are you dodging a dragon so much? What are you doing? Whoa. Okay, well, when he hit, he hit bloody hard. Oh, well, lay, lay, lay off, lay off, lay off. Thank you. You're really good. Are we someone we want to keep? You are a corporate security guard. Oh, you're a teenage corporate security guard. Oh, God. Uh, archery of eight, melee of eight. Absolutely know the skills to speak of. And you're delicate. You, uh, do you have anything? Empath. <gasps> Wait. Is that bard? Is that what the wizards refer to as a bard? Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bard, bard? I don't know. Am I about to breed the prisoners to make a better wizard? Wowee. So much for us being the... I never said we were the good guys. I need to clarify that. We, we were never going to be the good guys. These are desperate, insane wizards. They were desperate, insane wizards before they were nuked. Come on, Romunculus. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. I think you're going to be fine. You're, you're missing a leg, so you're not that good a floor sweeper. Oh, don't get up! For God's sake, Melton! I suppose at least it's raining. Dickhead, you've lost your privilege now. You are not getting tended until we get you back to the prison. I mean, I knew he was called Melton, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to rename him to Melting when we get him back to the prison. Okay, tend bloody fast. Tend him fast, because we need that gene. We can get a bard in this colony. Oh my god, it's going to speed up so much of this stuff. A death store. Shut up. It'll be fine. He'll be fine. She'll be fine. The prisoner breeding program's back on the menu. Uh, Rambunculus is a monster, okay? He's a monstrous man. He's too committed to the cause. But you know what? you got to respect it. And you know what? The wizards are intelligent. We'll give you a peg like if you join our faction. How about that? And speaking of, um... 
I don't want to use the word breeding program for our own colonists. Speaking of uh, expected pregnancies, there you are, lovely. Uh, second trimester. With the way things are set up currently, it's a 60% chance to inherit endogenes and a 40% chance to inherit xenogenes. However, if both parents have the gene, it's guaranteed inheritance. For now, that's how we've got it set up. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, a little harder for me to test a multi-generational playthrough. Didn't have another few weeks spare. Finally, Flutie's resistance has been broken by Bert. Thank you, Flutie. Plants, plants worker is going to be absolutely fantastic, given that it's almost propped up by that kappa. See, how's Bert doing now? He's fully healed. 95% consciousness. Honestly, it isn't terrible. 93% moving. 84 manipulation sucks, but, you know, we're going to solve the herb lord problem very soon. What have you got for me, then? Tree sprouts or manhunter pulse. That could be a really nice get-out-of-jail-free card if things start getting a little messy with these corporations. Um, let's go with the manhunter pulse for now. Shield animals. I mean, a shielded Galatross sounds like it could be mad strong. Tisha, we are only going for Brain Exploder. <laughs> That's the only thing I care about right now. And then for Rambunculus, can you unlock the, the faster plant growth power? Perfect. Do it for the Devil Strand. Oh, God. Okay, let's, let's, plant, let's plant a little Devil Strand up here. Really, we need to do with whatever the size of the plant time skip radius is. So we're getting the best. Oh, it grows all plants? All plants in a radius around the caster. Oh, it's not that big a radius. Oh, God. Five by five of Devil Strand. Okay, stop stop doing that. We don't want to age these people artificially too much unless we've got somebody to suck the power out of. Five by five. You know that fits pretty well. Oh, dear. <laughs> I like coloring outside the lines, okay? Yes! Oh, my God. Finally, someone to sweep the floors. Welcome, welcome, little Flutie. Totally cut from magic. So we can't even make you into a mage if we wanted to, but that's quite all right. Natural Meditator as well could be insane for... Breeding into our wizard so that we can actually use the animatory, because that's one of the few that you can't directly unlock with by, by spending a point. Not both cut off from magic either. So if we smash these two together, and then through pure luck, we get empath and uh, natural meditator. I don't really care about harmonist, but it'd be nice to get. And we somehow dodge cut off from magic. That would be awesome. Now all the raccoons have gone mad. Now all the raccoons... Have, it's probably all the bloody pollution and the toxic fallout. Okay, we've got to be careful here, because we could very easily... Burn our whole base down. Let's get you equipped with that military pick. And let's get you out there to go pickaxe some raccoons. <laughs> you have level one magic attunement. Oh, hello. I mean, he can't do anything because he doesn't have any size sensitivity. So it just won't, won't do anything. Nice work. Well done. Oh, God. They're chasing Archmage Rambunculus. He's running for his life. You idiot. You're an Archmage. Why are you running away? Okay, hold on. Let's do something a little bit. Oh, God. This stuff. It's in such a massive area. Just hit them. Hit them with the staff. Nice. See? Not a problem. You're fine. There we go. Wooden, simple research bench. Let's get a couple of chairs. Let's build a couple of bookshelves. Make it feel a bit more wizardy. Galatross sleeping in a dining room chair is so good. Before we start working on the research, I, I want to sort out the Flutie. What are you doing, Flutie? Flutie, you idiot. I feel like my wizards are insane, and I don't even think that's me imposing my will on them. They made this decision, okay? They're clearly very... Not insane. That's the wrong word. That's a harsh word. Um, They're, they're very... They're very self-obsessed. They're very free-thinking. They don't give a shit. I feel like they're uncaring, and I feel like having Flutie in the colony as kind of like another colonist feels a bit weird, given that, again, he's not a wizard. He's just here to sweep the floors. The biggest complaint, and this is our remote problem as, as old as time, because I'm not converting their ideology, because he isn't a wizard, why the hell should he be in the wizard way? He is constantly upset. Upset about doing dumb labor. Upsetting about no conqu conquest. I don't know why he's not eating food. That's your own fault, you idiot. I feel like slavery is a little bit too malicious for our wizards, though. I, I can't look. I can't have slavery and eugenics in the same series. <laughs> I don't think it suits him. So how about we meet it in the middle and we have thralls? Or more specifically, uh, a, a status symbol related uh, forced workers. You know what I'm saying? They're thralls. They're thralls. Thralls are a status symbol and need to be maintained properly. Those who don't care for their thralls don't deserve to have them. That, coupled with thrall attendance being approved, they're allowed to join parties and gatherings and that type of thing. Coupled with our people actually liking their thralls. If I can find... Ah, it is. Thrall opinion liked. It's supposed to have a healthy relationship with your thralls. They're not just... It's not just generic reward slavery where they do all the jobs and then leave our wizards to do their own thing. We still have to care for them. They still need houses, recreation. They can join things. They're just a lower class than the wizards. That's the wrong way to describe it. Maybe the wizards are a higher class than default Rimrim. Rim. That's the nicest way I've got to put this. See either that or I try and juggle like dual ideology systems and give Flutie like a, 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 a worker-based ideology. And I'm going to be honest with you. That's hell. I've done that too many times in the past, and that is hell. If we say assign to work on both of them, Flutie will basically jump over right away because they're already at zero will, right? They're already a member of the colony, so to speak. Boom, there you are. 
assigned to penal labor. So Flutie now counts as, uh, again, one of those, not enslaved. Enslaved is the wrong word. You're, you're enthralled. You've been enthralled. Well, has all the needs and wants of a regular person, but at this point, we'll balance out not converting the ideology. And I think that is a great compromise. Very easy to see wizards, non-wizards, and prisoners. Straightforward. I'm happy with that. I'll make a few more tweaks. If you've got any suggestions, I, I can make more tweaks as we play along. Look at them go. My sweet, beautiful boys finally can do wizard activities and not farming and floor sweeping and other such nonsense. Now, what you might notice very occasionally, if we speed things up, there you go. 3.1. What does this mean? 12.8 for Rambo Killers, my god. What could that possibly be? This is stored research. That means that I can give all of my research, uh, uh, all of my all of my wizards, a research bench each, or a powered research bench each, or whatever that happens to be. They are done with their daily wizard tasks. They can just sit down, and they can think, and they can plan. We don't need research queued up. We don't need anything specific, and we can spend the points that they've got on research. It's very magical. We're using the mod that changes the research UI. Sadly, we can't see the points we got stored. doesn't really matter, because the easiest way to find out is just click something, and if you haven't got the points for it, boom. Look at that, you see? Hold on, let me find esoteric studies here. Here we go. So you see, totally on research right now. If I click it, it will instantly spend all of those points. Magical time. There it is. Esoteric studies is complete, and he's just going to carry on thinking a little bit more about stuff. Thank you. Hey, I know what you... Well, of course, we can just queue up research like regular, and chance I'll be doing that a lot of the time anyway. Let's go for... Oh, let's go into arcane temperature so we can actually build a freezer. That'd be good. Also, arcane defenses for these magic pylons could be great. Oh my god, I don't think we've got the taming skill to keep the Galatross tamed and it's gone wild. Uh, tame, uh, uh, skill, something like that. Handling skill, 10. Ah, that is a slight problem. Oh no, you've got 11. The fuck? What's happened to my Galatross? Gala. <gasps> it's a second Galatross. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> I shouldn't. I should not do this. I shouldn't be trusted to do this. Ah. Oh, my God. I need to lie down. This is such a gamble. So, apparently, when we fail the taming chance, they go Manhunter. That's not what happened to the genie. The genies are... Um, we did tame it, but they've got a, a fallback check where they will go berserk if they are tamed. There's a lot of rare animals that will do that, so we've got to be careful. The Galatross, though, is not one of them. However, if we'd have failed that, if we'd have failed that 38% chance, whatever, it would have gone on a berserk rampage. I suppose not really that bothered, given we've got another Galatross that could fight it. They'd probably be roughly evenly matched, and we've got a dragon. I mean, at this point... Bring it on. <laughs> Bert, you actual legend. Oh, Bert, you legend. I can't believe I'm saying it. That is insane. That's nuts. That's silly. And you see, even when I mess it up and don't pin in the Bobinis, they just come crawling right back. Welcome, Bobini 2. E Melton 2. Welcome, my friend. Oh, this is so good. Oh, my wizards are going to be so much faster now. What were you good at? Nothing. But you do have a passion in construction. So maybe eventually we can free up Rambunculus? I think that's not a terrible idea. There you go. have to treat them well, remember. Otherwise, our wizard's going to be upset knowing that they're suffering. And they're supposed to be our, our servants, our loyal wizardy servants. This is fine. This is absolutely fine and acceptable. If you're happy, our wizards are happy. And that's the key point. Ooh. And masterwork furniture for them, too. I like that. I actually like that a lot. Well done, Rambunculus. Oh. The Galatross is sleeping at the end of their bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if that's an R situation or you should be fucking terrified. Arcane crafting, wonderful. Maybe eventually we can convert this entire area into the uh, uh, like a like a thrall only town. And the wizards can go off and live in their own specialized wizards tower, and they can have the bedrooms adjacent to that or something to that effect. Group of travelers from Magical Academy, welcome. You come in to see my own Magical Academy. I see any sort of indoor stone cutting table. You know, like a like a stone cutting table. That'd be nice. Smash mechanoid, make throwing chunks. No, I don't need these. Grain into flour. Obviously, eventually, it's going to be great because we built all that spelt. Uh, make broom. Brush made of dried grass. Oh, not like a f not like a flying broom. Oh. Ah, oh, and there it is. Arcane temperature regulation. So let's throw down uh, as big a freezer as I can fit in, given the amount of space I've given myself, which isn't a huge amount. And all the space I do have is filled up by frigging Galatross everywhere. What well, uh, baby prep, baby, baby preparation. Build a birth room with a clean floor and a good bed. Okay. Uh, okay, done. Step step two. <laughs> Cold crystal bowl. I guess we'll throw a couple of those in there. I don't know if they'll cool it down to freezing. It just says create a cooler environment. There's also only a flame pylon, which I don't need. May explode on damage. Yeah, I really don't need that. Oh, hello. Jesus, that was a lot. God, animal clothing. Hold on. I was going to say, let's see if we can spend the research on Devil Strand. But I could also make clothes for my Galatross. Got to do it, haven't I? <laughs> Go! Oh, 
Have we not? We've not seen any. You haven't done any more research? Lazy wizards. See if I can do a little matchmaking here. They're just very conveniently both using the hot spring at the same time. Nothing wrong with that. You two want to be friends, right? Yeah, there you go. Look at this. See, they're fine. Oh, my God. Milton gained a burning passion for construction. This is 10 out of 10. And Burr also just became Archmage again. Pipped him at the post with another level. Okay. Uh, shield animals. Yes. Oh, another one. Animal allies. Causing them to attack people hostile to the caster. So even if they're not tamed. Oh, that could be nuts on like a big group of Bobini. Send it. Okay, I'm in. Uh, what about the rest of you? I haven't checked in a little while. Have you got any? No upgrades there. And wildfire. No upgrades there, but we're getting close. Brains will explode one day. Don't you worry. One day very soon. I, uh, what? What now? A supernatural psychic phenomenon causes great disturbance in the area. Psychic energy will strike at random and every living being will have their psychic sensitivity doubled. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, so enormous psychic lightning bolts. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Yes, it is. My God, that is so loud. Oh, Lord. Okay, just be careful going outside. Really glad I picked the water skip power. Look at that. It doesn't actually make any fire. So, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Just some lovely psychic weather. Is it over? Are we fine? Are we safe? I've decided I want to build the dungeon. All good wizards are going to go into a dungeon eventually. And Bunculus, in doing all this research, has discovered that our wizard base was built on top of an enormous series of catacombs. It's a relatively new mod. I've never seen this before. I have no idea how it works. But, boom. There it is. Scavenge random loops. Scavenge for food, building materials, crafting materials, weapons... Power armor, drugs, or rare loot. There's also a button here, dungeon upgrade? Oh, you just kind of connect upgrades to it, huh? Okay, we'll see how that goes. Um, so what if I say... Let's say scavenge for random loot. Let's see what we get, and then let's send Bert in to go and scavenge for us. Oh, I see. It's like a big workbench. Unfinished random loot. There you go. How long is that going to take, little fella? Scavenging for anything at two times efficiency. Oh, weird. Okay. We'll just let him cook and see what happens, I guess. There it is, Devil Strand. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, get that planted. Now, you're wondering, how on earth are you going to get resources? Now, we can do the traditional things. We can we can do mining. There's some medieval mine shafts we can build. There are, very rarely, and a big reason why I'm keeping an eye on the animal list, is our resource muffalo, which grow resources naturally in their wool. It's very magical. Most importantly of all, though, there are resource trees, and I presume there it is. Steel tree, jade tree, gold tree, Etc. And kapow. Oh! Hello! Two go juice, a turkey egg. <laughs> a turkey egg? The fuck? Those elusive underground turkeys and six devil strand. Oh my god, hello there. Oh, well, that's quite good, because then go juice is one of the upgrades. I noticed that for the actual dungeon itself. I believe you build these and then it just kind of upgrades. It makes it work faster or something like that. How bizarre. A fun little side project for our wizards. It's not something I'll probably be relying on too much to solve all of our problems. And of course, the traditional way of getting all your resources, carrier birds. We can communicate with other factions. See, carrier birds aren't the traditional way. You know what I meant? As in, like, we can now communicate with other factions. That's the important part. Let's throw this. Uh, is this what we need, right? You allow for correspondence. That's right. We, let's let's chuck this over here somewhere. An altar to worship dragons. What the fuck is this? We need an ideology room. Really, we need to decide what we're doing with the base and to go full send. Now that we've got a potentially very... What are you doing? Why have, why have we not got any food? What happened to all the food? You've eaten all the food? Sunflowers. Uh, sunflowers give food. You give sunflower seeds. You cook them into meals. I didn't realize we were totally out of food. Please don't eat raw animals. You weirdos. Is there ever a situation I wouldn't want corpses on the lavish food list? I don't think so. Get the dragon to go out and, and hunt some bobini for us. That seems like a good idea. We'll give the bird some milk, of course, before it'll do any do any trading for us. There we are. <laughs> That's so much. It's so whimsical. It doesn't make any fucking sense, but it's so whimsical. Oh, we need iron ingots for it. Where the hell am I supposed to get iron ingots from? Oh, even like maybe something to do with this iron. We smelt that down at a fanache, I would assume. There, delicious bobini stew. Keep something to lie down because she's pregnant. As if that's some sort of excuse. <laughs> Voila, one tailor bench. Can we make child wizard hats? Quite possibly. I mean, maybe the cloaks will do it as well. The important question is, what sort of clothes are we going to give to our thralls? I think there's an obvious answer, isn't there? I need suits and I need maid dresses. We're going to have butlers and maids throughout the entire colony. We've got the Victorian style apparel mod. We don't even need that. In the bin with you. Amazing. Okay. Um, For our... Well, there is actually quite literally a maid dress. Okay, I didn't realize that. And then for our, for our butlers, I'm thinking a smoking jacket, perhaps. We've got some sort of middle layer. Oh, my God. There's a maid headdress. The butlers can wear a lovely top hat. That doesn't feel right. Oh, we have enough cloth to get started. Do we really? 
Well, that's fantastic news. Ah, amazing. Look at that. Hey, uh, who wants a maid dress here? Melton, can we get a maid dress? And one waistcoat as well. Get over here. Flutie, wear this waistcoat, goddammit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fixed the problem. Boy, they look so pleased to be here, don't they? <laughs> We're not the bad guys. We're not the bad guys, I promise. With that, we've got a new job for our thralls to do. Melton, your name is Melton. Come and Melton me some steel, if you don't mind. Or in this case, iron ore. Go off our labor. First baby. First baby. We're going to see if everything's working or whether I've broken it all. Uh, healthy childbirth. Go. Go. Go and have your healthy childbirth. Who's going to gather around? I guess just rambunculus this time. Okay, he's also the doctor, so it makes things nice and straightforward. No, Bert's here too. I mean, it's not that, it's not that weird. There's nothing nobody here has seen before. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Show me, baby wizard. What's like the best potential outcome we can get here? Like Chronopath, Skip Monster, Skip Skip Monster, and extremely magically size sensitive, and nature tuned. That combination would be disgustingly good, and they don't conflict as genes. That is something you have to keep in mind, that conflicting genes won't be passed down. It'll pick one or the other if both are rolled, and you get lucky on that. Show me the baby. Show- uh, I would like to see the baby. <gasps> baby Montomblery. Baby Montomblery. And? <laughs> Wait! No! They do conflict! No! I thought for a second then. I thought for a second we may have created the ultimate baby. Not the not the ultra wizard, of course, but like a very, very powerful wizard. Makes sense that they would conflict. They're both so good. They're like two of the best magical genes independently. But the cool thing is that child can then pass that gene onto their next successor. And maybe their next gene will get extremely magic sensitive instead of nature attuned. Inheriting it from old grandpa Rambunculus himself. You also randomly got Archon. Whoa, the chance of inheriting this many genes from your parents is... Insane. What didn't you inherit? It's probably a better question. Uh, Chronomancer, Skip Path. You got both. Skip Mancer, Static Lord. What didn't you inherit? What am I missing here? The, the mathematical chance of not inheriting... Oh, sorry, of inheriting all of those genes is so incredibly low. What did I, oh, you didn't get the third eye? Oh, well, I mean, in that case... Because <laughs> everything's inheritable, right? You didn't get the third eye from Rambunculus. Let's keep things... Let's keep things simple. Is this simple in my mind? This is kind of simple. If it is a girl, we name it after the mother's dynasty. If it is a boy, we name it after the father's dynasty. Does does that make sense? No, because then you could have, like, uh, half siblings with different... That's fine. No, it works fine. It works fine. It's good enough. Um, so you are... Hello. You are male. Rob Montomblory. Wow. <laughs> um, well, yeah. No, let's swap that to Rambunculus. Rambunculus. It helps if you spell it right. Rob Rambunculus. That's a great name. Have you got me a more wizardy? Which, which of these is... Norman Rambunculus. No. Jasmine, Roman, Chak, Jared, Jin... These are all terrible. Baff, baff in Rambunk. <laughs> that's not. That's not a real name. Do it. Do it. Do it. Baff in Rambunculus. Baff in Rambunculus is a, a premium tier Rimworld name. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Hey, uh, I got a question now. Where do I put the baby's crib? I feel like in with the parents' bedroom is not the right call for fairly obvious reasons. Crib. Oh, look at that. It's a little dragony crib. Oh, well, that's nice. Let's go put it in there. Rambunculus, build a crib for your child, please. Just round of applause. There's round of applause. I can't believe that's working. Round of applause, please. This is this is superb. Little baby Baffin. Baby Baffin himself. This is so good. And this is just that this is the tip of the iceberg. As soon as we start getting more wizards, as soon as we get and start uh, more, more people that we want to recruit, the family is going to be enormous. I'm going to have so many wizard districts, and I love the idea of the tower for each one. I think that's still fantastic. Oh. See, and he does care. Hey, Melton, how have you been? Oh, that's good. Honestly, maybe I should add a second ideology for the thralls. Maybe I should. Maybe I should do something there to bring a little extra unity. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Is it worth the hassle? It, it wouldn't do anything any different. It would just make it feel a bit more... A bit more unified. It's just a feeling in my brain and it would have absolutely no impact on the gameplay. Hello. It's the deserted quest. We kill the cyberpunk and then we're good. What about you then? Dylan Amos, a corporate drone, is calling from nearby. He's been charged with spreading, spreading anti-corporate sentiment among the works of the mechanoid-owned factory by the corporation. Well, an enemy of my enemy is my friend. They're willing to offer us a mech link. Well, we don't need a mech link, but would you look? Yeah, but look, though. Look at how purple they are. 
I think we've got to say yes to that, haven't we? Somebody who can help us from the inside. We're not necessarily going to trust them because they're still one of them. It could be a trap. It could be a ploy. Oh. Oh, Melton's saying that she loves Rambunculus and he's not entirely impressed. For today, though, let's leave it there. Apologies about the delay on today's episode. I recorded basically a full episode and I was like, nothing happened. This is garbage. Uh, so I scrapped about half of it and then re-recorded kind of the rest that you've seen. And honestly, I'm happy to leave it here because I feel like we've actually achieved something. Thank you for joining me in Wizard Kingdom. I'll be putting a big mod pack update out very, very, very shortly, which will add a whole bunch of new mods and some rebalancing changes to the way the genes work, stuff like that. L lots of kind of all broadly encompassing updates. Uh, for any regular feedback, of course, throw them out in the comment section as always, and I'll read them with my eyes. For technical feedback, mod-related feedback, suggestions for the RPG mod, anything like that, throw them over on Discord, put them in the issues section. You will need a GitHub account to do that. And uh, verification is a massive pain in the ass right now over on GitHub. So give it a go. And if you've got anything over there, throw that. It could be issues, feedback, technical fixes, suggestions, whole new content, whatever. Throw them over there and we'll slowly work through them. Thank you in the meantime to Pika Pyre, James, Bottom of the Swamp, Ashen Jack, Taff, Randomman183, Hascrack, I am Sagatair, Kane, A Million Violets, Jackson, One Who Knocks, The Chicken, Shadow1317, Milky Milk, Natalie Mulder, Minty Mushrooms, Lupus, Ken the Eagle, Mr. Dranger, Tagnum, Elite, Krakadaka, Sydney, Smexy Grandpa, Akrana, and Cosmosenti for their support. The executive producer stays over on Patreon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. Hope you're enjoying Wizardy Adventures. I feel like we're just finally properly kicking off now. Thank you as well to Witcher Geralt, Jelly Jiggler, Mowen Kadalbe, Brian Elliott, Slurpin Gurpin, Uninvited, Haggis, Runar, Evan Stockdale, Max Soplo, Liam Smith, The Legend Boss, Elliptic, Kathleen Boyer, Richie B634, Elkel, Lieutenant Smokin, Thorn Midwinter, and No Reality. See you all tomorrow for a wizardy time.